Henry, thinking back of all the time you've been playing here, is it, does it seem kind of amazing that you've been here long enough to, to warrant a testimonial, or, or, or should we say trendimonial? Um, it, 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 it's gone quickly, I think, for, uh, for me, especially. I think I've had, it's, it's almost strange to say I've been here for 12 years, and obviously sort of really sort of honoured and privileged to, to have a testimonial year, um, to celebrate sort of, uh, well, everything really about sort of the, my, my rugby and, and, and the club that have sort of stood next to me for, for 12 years through the sort of highs and the lows and I, I have had a, a couple of lows as well and um, it's for me, I think a bit of a, a, a quiet moment to, to, and I think it will be, to, to almost sort of be like, okay, actually enjoy this moment. Not a lot of people get it and uh, I think it's going to be quite special. And we understand you'll be on the on the sidelines for the for the Friday match for the that yeah, testimonial. So, I would so, be fit, yeah. so tell us, talk us through what you'll be doing in, instead. Oh, so they've got they've they've got me doing everything. So hopefully, um, I'll be I'll be sort of uh, in and around trying to talk to as many people as as possible. And I think I'll I'll enjoy sort of trying to spend some time with um, fans and, and friends and family as well who have come down to watch and uh, walk the team out. I think I think I've got a couple of interviews in and around the game and. I'll probably walk around and be waving at a couple of people as well. But uh, yeah, as, as, as sort of I said and, and sort of alluded to, that I do want to sort of take it in and, and, and really just enjoy the game and, and what it means, and um, and then sort of hopefully this season really push on and, and get back on the pitch. It's one of those things, isn't it? Because arguably you'd always want to play, but it's quite nice in a way to be able to kind of take it all in. Yeah, and I think I, I, I mean just talking to Charlie, he was injured for his, and, and he was really gutted that he didn't get to play. And there's there's always going to I I hate not playing every week, so. Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be one you'd love to play in, but I think it's, I've got to be mindful that I, I need to enjoy it and I need to take the moment and appreciate it, and I think I will do that, and I'm in the, the right place to do that now. And be, apart from you and Charlie, obviously, over that time, the other constant, of course, has been the fans. They never change, obviously. So do you, would, you, would you have a message for them, for the, for that, for the thousands of people who followed you through? Uh, I mean, it's, 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 quite, um, it, it's quite deep, but I think it, in terms of... They've, they have almost, almost always been there for me in terms of how they've always treated me. I've never really had any negative uh, press or n negative sort of uh, vibes towards me in terms of coming from the fans. They've always been there through my injuries as well. And, and for that, for me, it's, it's always been that, that little burner in the, in the back of my head to come back. I mean, I'll never forget when I had my, I think it was my first major knee injury coming back against uh, Zebra off the bench at King's Home, I had a, a really nice, well, I hope it was me, a nice reception, I think someone might have been behind me or something, but uh, that reception of me coming on the pitch and, uh, and, and just that sort of feels with warmth and it's been 12 years, I've sort of put like blood, sweat and tears into it and, and just to appreciate the little things like that, I think the fans give a lot to the players and I think probably fans don't realise as much as what the effect they do have on players. Uh, social media wise, you always hear all the negative stuff, but then at the same time it's, you get those odd messages and, and I see the, the same people that sort of have the same messages throughout the years and, and that you don't go um, and notice from a, from a player's point of view. So I think uh, the, the positive stuff I've had has, has been amazing. I've got nothing but good words to say about the Gloucester fans.